we have a MacBook Pro, it's an 1278 it says uh, USB failure. Okay, so, so I hold Alt key. <coughs> so for this one, you don't have to put it to desktop. You can ascertain the, the USBs from, from this, uh, from the boot option window. Let's get another drive. Okay, yeah, so from here you can you can confirm if you have a USB function. So this is a test. Uh, this is a, a bootable drive. Let's see if we have any anything. Nothing. And then on the other port. On the other port, we still we also have uh, nothing. Let's try again. Okay, we don't have nothing. So typically, when it comes to USB uh, USB port repairs, there are two things you want to look out for. Uh, number one is uh, you want to understand if you have an issue with power on, if you have issue on your power line of USBs or you have issues with data. So the first thing you want to do, um, so let's take the back of out and head over to the, the section of the USB. So we want to ascertain if our issue is um, power on the USB line or our issue it's a data on the USB line. So uh, when, when it comes to, um, so usually if it is uh, an issue with power, when you connect an external device, you can, it will power the external device, but it will not be able to read the data off of the device. So this is, uh, this is a 2011. So what we want to do, it's, uh, we want to head over to the USB section of the board, <clears throat> which is this here. This is uh, the section we're going to be interested in. Let's open up the port view. This is an 820-2936. Uh, 2936, 2936, 2936, 2936. Do we have that opened? Otherwise, we can... 2936. No. Okay. So let's open it. So it's 820-2936. It's zero dash twenty nine thirty six. Okay, so this is, um, and uh, also let us quickly open up the board view, uh, the schematic. Mm, it's zero. 2936. So we shall be going to the section of the USB. Mm, okay, so uh, here we have, let's see, what is that? U4600? Uh, yeah, so let's go to U4600. U4600. Okay, <clears throat> so it says uh, it says USB port power switch. So mm, here we uh, we have uh, a simple circuitry that basically you have your five uh, PP5 volt in pin two and uh, pin two and three. You will have your volt your voltage in, and then you have USB. USB uh, underscore EXT underscore OCL out, and then you have you have those two out. You have DDR, so you have the enable signal uh, which will come from DD DDREG underscore EN enable. So um, you have enable signal and pin four and five, and then you will 
obviously then have output at uh, pin 9 and pin 8. Now, uh, because our machine starts, because we have voltage, I mean, because we have display, definitely this signal, uh, pin 4 and 5, is going to be present. And uh, because our machine is also running, we are 100% sure that voltage at uh, pin 2 and 3 are going to be present. Now, what we now want to, uh, to, to first of all, check out is to see if we have voltage at uh, pin 9 and pin 8. So let's, let's head back to use 4600 and see what we have on pin uh, pin 8 and pin 9. So pin 8 and pin 9, it's, uh, so we have that on this inductor. So let's also connect charger to it. <clears throat> What's our maxif one? Did you take a max? Did you take our maxif one from here? You don't have a maxif one. Yeah. I don't get the same. Can you give me one or two that I can use mine to change the clean screen? The clean light. I'm coming, boss. You need it now. Where is the max F1? <clears throat> so that's, uh, um, now from here we see we have two outputs uh, and that's also because we have two USB ports. So U4600, it's uh, what will uh, send power to the two USB ports that we have. These are going to be the two ports. You have USB, um, left USB port B, you have left USB port A. Now, um, initially I was saying something about data. So there are two primary, um, two primary uh, troubleshootings I do when I come here. So first thing first, I want to see if I have voltage going to onto the port. And then I also want to check if my, uh, my inductor, this is an inductor which is in form of a, a filter. So that's going to be a data line, and um, oftentimes you find that uh, this dies, uh, L4600 and as well as L4610. But when that happens, uh, what will, when you connect a USB device to it, you will have power on that, um, on that USB device, but there will be, uh, you'll not be able to read data that is on that device. So if you have, if you're able to read, if you are, uh, say for example, you connect a USB and um, a, a USB device, and the USB device lights up, but you are not able to read data off of that USB device, then it means that you have power to your USB port, but you are not uh, you are not getting data uh, from the uh, you, you are not able to get data. And oftentimes that will be the case of L4600 and uh, L4610 failing, and and that's very common on the 2011 and 2012 uh, 8278. So first in first, let us see what we have. Uh, like I said, um, uh, let's see, from U4600, which is going to output um, 5 volt uh, to L4605 and L4615. Uh, so let's start with L4605 and see. So there we go, L4605. Let's see if we have 5 volt. And also sometimes you may also find that you also get a short on this line. But uh, yeah, sometimes you also get a short uh, on this line as well. So let's see, uh, our L4605 is going to be uh, this guy here. Uh, where is it? L4605, L4605. So this is going to be our L4605, this one here. That's going to be it. So let's see, black probe and then red probe. Uh, pin, okay, 5 volt. And then on the other side, 5 volt. Okay, good. Now let's, uh, and then the other thing we want to check, we've checked L4605, we have voltage. Now let's see L4615, L4615, L4615 is going to be, yeah, this one, L4615, which is going to be, which is L4615 is going to be this one here. Yeah, so let's see, do we have 5 volt? Yes, we have 5 volt. And then the other side, yes, we have 5 volt. So the next thing we want to do, it's, uh, we want to see what we have at uh, the filters, which is L4600. You can just copy that to make it easy. Copy and then paste that here on the search. L4600 as well as L4615. 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 
So these are the two induct inductors in, in form of filters that we'll be interested in. So that's going to be this guy here and this guy. So one and two. So let's see what we have on. Let's see what do we have on. Uh, let's see. Is it, okay. So with this one, what we want to do is we want to disconnect our. Let's disconnect power from it. And then we can switch our, our multimeter to continuity mode. Um, and then we can check. So let's check it like this. We'll measure on both sides to see what we get. Zero, zero, five, four. And then on the other side. Zero, zero, seven, and counting. And then this one. Uh, let's see that is not reading at all and then the other side okay and then this side okay so uh, we see on this side so one side reads other side doesn't read and this one in both both side reads so what we're going to do is we're going to replace uh, we just go ahead and replace both because uh, when we checked uh, we didn't have um, there was nothing on both ports, so let's just go ahead and replace both. Uh, we need a donor board. Okay, let's grab a donor board. So um, this this uh, L4600 and L4615 you can get from 2012 or 2011. It doesn't matter. It's it's the same thing. And um, sometimes you may you may get like the flat design. Uh, I'll show you guys now. You may get like a flat design. So when I mean flat design, so like this, you may get a flat design like this. You can see use it. Or you may uh, you may find um, this one. So whether it's a raised type of design or flat design like this one, it's fine. You can uh, you can use it. So uh, let's see what we have in this one. So we this is 2012. So we can we can use this. Yeah, we can use that. So. It's, and also for this repair, you don't have to uh, really take the board out. You can replace, you can make the replacements with the board still in the shell. Okay. Okay, so let's, uh, let's use uh, this one here. Right? Okay, no problem.
Okay. That's done. Uh, let's check again. Power on the device. Hold on your old key. Let's connect our USB device. Uh, okay, we have to hold. Okay, so so that's it. So before now, we didn't have the options of the USB. That's one USB. Let's check the other one. Okay, as you can see, both USBs are not working. So initially, um, none of the ports will work. Right now, you see we have both ports are now working. And that's it. Both ports are now working. Okay, so I'm just going to do like a brief explanation as to um, like a recap. Um, so this is this is a this is a computer repair. Uh, I'm just going to give you guys a bit of explanation again, and then we can. Uh, so, so w when you typically when you have an issue like this one, especially on a 20, uh, 2011, 2012, um, the case of USB is not working. Uh, what you want to do first is you want to head over to your U4600, uh, which is basically uh, where your uh, five volt, uh, your, your five, the power will be generated for your USB port. Now, if you go, if you head over to your USB port, you see that basically there are two, uh, th th there are two main functions that will enable your USB port to work. So you have, uh, you have power, and then you have data. So first thing you want to do is you want to see if you have data to your USB port. Uh, so after you've confirmed that you have uh, power to your USB port, then let's say you want to confirm it's uh, you want to see if you have uh, if your 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 inductor, which is in, in this case is going to be a form of a common form of a filter, that is what is going to be on the data line. You want to check to see if that if that is okay. So oftentimes, oftentimes, uh, what what happens is this fails. So as uh, so for me, like a general rule. If I come here and then I get zero volt and I don't have a short on this line, then I will know for sure that my problem is it's uh, it's it's uh, it's uh, my problem. It's uh, going to be uh, U for six six hundred. But in the situation where I have uh, five volt here, I mean, if I have five volt here, what that also means is I'm going to have power on my external devices that I am connected that that, that, I, that is connected to to, uh, to my machine. The only thing is I will not be able to read data off of that device. So what I just go straight to do is I'll just go ahead and replace. Uh, U4600 and 99% of the time that just uh, solves solves the problem. And uh, in this particular uh, case, you guys saw. Um, so our problem was L4600 and L4610. So we replaced both, and now we have USB function. And uh, uh, typically, and uh, that solves uh, the problem of uh, USB not working on this device. So we're just going to clean it up, and then, like I said, you can choose to use this particular. Uh, 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 this particular design in terms of the flat ones as compared to the raised ones that were there before and this is a 2011 board you can use a 20 uh, a 2012 and even you can even take that component so you can even take that from uh, from a 15 inches also it's still going to work uh, yeah so pretty much um, that's it uh, I will see you guys in the next one thank you